Hey guys, it's gonna be a quick, uh, quick, uh, quick clip here. So I wanna run these Osram bug eye bright as crap lights in my uh, Nighthawk. Problem was there's no mounting provisions on this for anything other than like a Jeep. And the other problem is um, the stock headlight is a composite design. So you got your H4 bulb and then you have these three tabs Okay, these two bottom, top and bottom mount on the rubber mounts that kind of let it move side to side. And then you have a sprung adjuster screw, uh, which is all this mess here. So in order to mount this, you gotta, you really gotta do some trickery. And what I ended up doing was I ended up making brackets. Um, these things don't look like much. Okay. That's for the adjuster screw. And here's my other top bracket they don't look like much but once they're on here I had to drill and tap holes and, and I had to take some of these off too there was a, one of those here or something here uh, same with on this side and here so those are tapped with m3 three millimeters by 0 0.50 I think and uh, here's this using stainless screws like this and I'm gonna Loctite them and if you give me a minute, I'm going to put it together and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here are the tabs installed. Um, you can see how they fit. They're a little crude, but they get the job done. A bit bent the lip of that up to capture the nut. So, um, how this works is you take your trim ring that I've painted black because it was rusty. And you just slide it right on there without damaging everything like that and uh, you screw it together I'm gonna put you down for one more second put it together and I'll show you the finished product and here it is mounted uh, you can see it uses the stock hardware see how that works it works perfect it's super sturdy and with it blacked out it looks pretty darn nice I'm gonna go throw it on the bike and uh, somehow I managed to get that almost perfectly spaced too I'm gonna go throw it on the bike and show you what it looks like on the bike. Now it doesn't look as clean as a regular halogen bulb. I'll give you that. It's a little, you know, dare I say, ricey or unclassic or whatever you wanna call it. But the light that this thing puts out makes a difference. And since that bike isn't really made for a show, show a queen, I think this is gonna work good. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's how it looks on the bike. Um, I think it looks kinda of cool. Need to adjust it a little bit, probably. Uh, everything works as it should. The adjuster works. There you go. Adjuster works. Should be nice and solid. Blacking it out was a good choice. I think it looks cool. The whole bike's blacked out now. It does work. I checked it. I tested it. All good. Ready to go. That's what you gotta do if you want an aux beam seven inch Osram light in your bike. Okay guys, so the lights installed, well this is like many weeks later. Uh, I was going to uh, put a video together for the install of the aux beam light here and decided I better get some nighttime footage of it actually working. So here you go, this is the best I can do. I know the camera mount's not that great, but it is what it is. You get an idea of how bright the thing is at least. Actually, you can't. Even looking in the, the, you know, the preview on my phone down here, it doesn't do it justice. Uh, it is so bright. All right, here we go for a little, quick little ride. low beam there's high beam
there it is. She's bright. High beam works really good too, which is pretty rare for uh, LED lights like that. They tend to not really have a high beam. So it's actually pretty nice that that one has it and it works good.